Hey guys, it's Kess, and today we'll be reading Chapter 7 of Good Girl by Joseph Evans. Harper's girlfriend is out for your blood. Can you defeat her? And what happens when you find out who Zero really is? Read now to find out. Let's get started. Episode 7. We can be heroes. What should I say? We were just hugging? We were just hugging! I know what I saw. You were kissing. <laughs> she really likes jumping to conclusions, doesn't she? Twiggy, I'm straight! You know that! So was Harper until four years ago. I wasn't straight. <laughs> I just didn't come out of the closet. Look, Twig, I'm quitting Juno's. And Harper was just giving me a goodbye hug. That's all. I don't believe you. All I hear is your name. Grace this and Grace that. I'm sick of hearing the name Grace. I knew there was something going on. I just knew it. We work together. That's what people do. They talk about their day when they get in from work. Of course I'm gonna be talking about Grace. Well, the only thing you'll be saying about Grace after I'm done with her is... Rest in peace. She is absolutely insane. I have to use my powers to get out of the situation. But how? Excuse me one moment. We're probably gonna use her phone against her. Nasher, what in Vork's name do you want? I'm busy right now. Don't tell me you lost the goods. Two Tooth Tony will not be happy. Excellent. I'll come pick him up in half an hour. Now do me a favor and leave me alone. Who are Nasher and Two Tooth Tony? Some really shady guys she's doing business with. This is why you need to break up with her, Harper. And what are the goods? I don't know, but something tells me it's not those knockoff DVDs she used to sell. I swear that Nasher's gonna get it the next time I see his ugly face. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, cracking my knuckles. When I'm done with you, Griffin, you're gonna look like chopped salami. Maybe I can control her phone and send her a message using my mind from this Nasher guy. It's worth a shot. What message should I send? I'm waiting outside. I'm waiting outside Juno's with the goods right now. Right now? Don't lie to me, you lying piece of- I'm not lying! I can see out of Juno's window, stupid. You're nowhere to be seen. Oh, that was the wrong text. I'm waiting around the corner. Well, you're gonna have to wait. Ugh, I was hoping that would work. I need to kick someone else's butt before I kick yours. It didn't work. Grace, did you do that? Using your mind? Yeah, but it didn't do anything other than buy me a little bit of time. Send her a message from Two Tooth Tony. She's terrified of the guy. Thanks, Harper. What should I send from Two Tooth Tony? You failed to deliver the goods. Battle get her running. You failed to deliver the goods on time. Mr. Tony, you said to deliver them at 5 p.m. today. No, I said deliver them at 5 a.m. today. 
you don't deliver in the next half an hour, you'd better take a deep breath. Because you'll be sleeping with the fishes tonight. <laughs> That's such a stereotypical monster. <laughs> Why did Grace do that? I I have to go. Very important business to attend to. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, and by the way, Twig, you're dumped. What? That's right, I've had enough of your nonsense. I never want to see you again in my life. I'm so proud of you, Harps. I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. How about that hug now? I could definitely do with it. Later that day. Sounds like you really have your powers under control now, Grace. I'm definitely starting to get the hang of it. Just in time, because I've got us a spot on live TV this evening. Another TV interview. The last one didn't go so well. So we can talk about how to call for help if anyone is in trouble. This evening? Yeah, there are more blue droids sweeping the streets every day. No one has been killed yet, but it's only a matter of time unless we start saving people ASAP. You're right. It's time to be heroes, isn't it? How are you holding up, Grandma? These scenes with her grandmother are always just so sad. Can you believe your granddaughter is going to be a superhero? Pretty nuts, huh? I guess saving people must run in the family. You saved me. Now I'm gonna save everyone else. Seth and I are going on TV in less than two hours to give everyone instructions. You'll see me right here on this TV. It'll almost be as if I'm in the room. This is just so heartbreaking. Well, I'd better get ready. I kind of want to cry whenever we do these <laughs> when we play through these scenes. What's on the floor? There's a note. Grace, I've been working on an improved superhero outfit. Try this on. You're gonna love it. When did Seth put this in here? I like the old one better. <laughs> this outfit is so cool. It's so much cooler than the original one. I like the look of the original better though. If I accept it, I could switch back and forth between this one and the one I've already got. I don't really want this one. I don't I like the purple one better. You know what though? I still prefer the original one I chose. I'm gonna change into that. Yep, this looks just as cool. Or should I try that awesome new one again? No, I really want the purple suit. This one is perfect. You ready for this, Grace? After that experience on stage, I think I can do a bit of live TV. People of New Vork. My name is Grace. And my name is Seth. Together, we are Energy Woman and Electro Man. And we are here to protect you. All you have to do is download our app. <laughs> They're using an app to be able to call for help. That's adorable. And if you're under attack from one of the Zero's blue droids, we'll be able to locate you and teleport directly to your location. That's actually pretty cool. Sounds less lame than I thought it would be. <laughs> it's really as simple as that. There have been no casualties as of yet. And we want to keep it that way. 
this city has been without superheroes for too long. We can be those superheroes. If you're in trouble, we promise we're here for you. The following morning, let's see how their campaign went. I mean, interview. Live TV thing. Grace, I saw you on TV last night. You are fantastic. All we have to do now is find out who Zero really is. Yep, that's the plan. Then we can put a stop to the blue droids altogether. Wanna come with me to the charity store where I got the purple necklace? Sounds great. I'll meet you there in half an hour. <laughs> There's a sign on the building that says blue droids not welcome. <laughs> That's kind of funny and cool, all at the same time. Okay, this is the place. Ladies! How should we start? Hey there! Hey there! <laughs> well, hey good looking! <laughs> Why is he flirting with us? We were just trying to be polite. Instead of saying, Hey, give us the necklace, buddy. <laughs> or, where'd you get the necklace, buddy? <laughs> Weren't you on TV last night? Look at my finest. <laughs> uh. Um, yeah, I was on TV last night. What guy you were with? Your boyfriend? Yes, he is my boyfriend, so back off. Yes, Seth is my boyfriend. And he'll be royally peed off if you try anything on with me. Guess I shouldn't anger a superhero, huh? Correct. Look, Mr. Lothario, we just want to know who donated the purple necklace I bought a couple weeks back. You were in here a couple weeks back. Oh, shoot, yes, you were. I thought I put that purple hair of yours all night that night. Um, that's not creepy at all. Can you remember who donated the necklace? Sure, I remember. She was hot. <laughs> Is that all he thinks about? <laughs> I get the impression you think every girl is hot. <laughs> nah. There's this one girl who comes in here. <laughs> He's so mean and weird. Kinda looks like one of those things that lives in the sea. What are they called? Begins with an M. A mermaid? No, a man. Oh, that's so mean! She ain't hot. <laughs> so aside from being hot, what did the woman who donated the necklace look like? Well, she had this sexy mane of bright red hair. <laughs> so, so stupid and weird. Uh, I'm not saying that. <laughs> and she was wearing a suit as well. She had this kind of sexy businesswoman vibe about her. Is that the only word he knows to use to describe women? A red haired sexy woman in a suit. That's probably a lot longer list than you think it is. That narrows it down to maybe a few hundred in Newvork. We're gonna need something more specific. Anything unique about her? Anything that could identify her? And only her? Well, she had this cute little tattoo on the back of her left hand. It was the letter O with a line through it. An O with a line through it? Oh, that must be like a villain group or something. That's a zero! Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> I thought it was like a group, but I should have realized it was zero. <laughs> That's a zero! Huh, I never thought of that! <laughs> this game is really dense. 
Violet, I think I can use this info. I was able to locate Quarry's online profile just by picturing him in my mind. If I picture this woman, I might be able to find her profile as well. Good thinking! Right. Let's go do this. Thank you. You weirdo. Jim. Thank you, Jim. The weirdo. You've been helpful in your own way. Hey, why are you so interested in this woman anyway? We think she might be zero. Whoa. You're telling me that sexy redhead is also a, a supervillain? If anyone else tries coming in here, don't let them. I need to go take a cold shower. I'm sorry that I keep laughing when I'm reading his lines. It's just they're so ridiculous. I can't help it. A zero tattoo on the back of her hand? It has to be her, doesn't it? Everything seems to be pointing in that direction. Just gotta find out her real name and her location. And we could put an end to all of this. Okay, Grace. Do your thing. I can't find any profiles. Maybe she dyed her hair. Of course, she would have deleted all her social media accounts before going public as zero. Wait. There's no social media, but I'm picking up on something. What is this? Hey, look! I think it's a photo. Cool! There she is. With her red hair and her tattoo of a zero. It's some kind of group photo. Oh my gosh. It says Electrobit Industries on the wall behind them. She was an Electrobit employee. And her name is Eliza. Since Grace's dad worked at Electrobit, they might be able to figure out who she is, like if he has old papers or something. One of their own members of the staff is Zero. That's insane! I know. That's probably how Zero got their powers in the first place, or was able to hack the blue droids more easily. I know. But we still don't have a surname or location. Not yet, but she has to be on Electrobit's records. My dad used to work there, and my grandma before him. I've always had special privileges there. They'll let me have a look at their records without question. Perfect. I have to rush off, but let me know what you uncover, okay? You know, I bet if Grace's grandmother hadn't been in the accident, she probably would be. At least eventually be working at Electrobit, too. Will do. Hmm. There's something strange on the floor where Violet was standing. It's some kind of little orb. What should I do? Let's pick it up. Normally I don't pick up weird stuff, but... <laughs> Most of the time I do. Orb 1 of 5 clicked. Clicked all 5 orbs to... Oh, that's so cool! I haven't seen anyone do this yet. That's neat. Most people are like, Ooh, you made all the right choices! You get to see my special scene now! This is more fun. This idiot was coming on to you? Don't worry, I told him you'd kick his butt. I actually doubt you need my help. You seem to be kicking butt all by yourself. Hey, you don't mind that I've used my powers in some situations on my own, do you? I know we're a team and... No, it's fine. 
He's so nice. If I'm not with you at the time, you gotta do what you gotta do. Seth is so great. Okay, Eliza something. Eliza something. <laughs> it's not that common a name. There has to be something Seth. There has to be something about her somewhere. Grace, I got something. Eliza Zimmerix. Um, that's where Zero came from. Her last name kind of sounds like Zero. She worked here for eight years. As head of security and budgeting. Hmm. That's kind of a strange position for someone that would have become Zero. During her time, she pioneered two major incentives. The lockdown protocol. And... The Zero Hierarchy. What's that? The Zero Hierarchy? That's what this whole thing is about. Hierarchy! In those TV interruptions, she spoke about tearing down the hierarchy. There's no doubt about that. This is her. And we have an address. Yay! We've actually found Zero! My phone is buzzing. Seth, it's our app. Someone's in trouble. That's the docks district up in the northeast. That was so cool with the map and the blue droid on it. I love it when authors on episode take the time to make extra stuff like that. We have to help them before we confront Eliza. Looks like we're about to be superheroes for the very first time. This is so exciting. I've got my teleporter all set. You ready, Grace? Am I ready? Let's do this! Let's do this. Oh, that's it! I wanted to save someone on this chapter. <laughs> Alright, that's it for chapter 7. I'll see you in chapter 8. And let me know what you think of the choices we made down in the comments. Bye!